Alrighty, hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to an ARC bonus and this, I know a lot of content creators have already covered this topic, but this is just for people who are new to Survival Ascended. They wanted to give the game some time to get some bugs to work out. They knew it came back, They came, it came out back in October 2023. They decided, well, I'm gonna give it some time for the bugs to be worked out. And now I just may start playing it. So this video we're going to discuss changing your cryopod settings. This is to disable the, now this will not disable the cooldown. I want to fully disclose that this video will not discuss how to disable cooldown. But it will be discussing how you can start using your cryopods further away from the cryo fridge because the cryo fridge gives you a certain range and if you go beyond that range you can't use the cryopods unless you build another cryo fridge so if you want to cryo a creature and take it into a cave well, unless you have a cryo fridge built there you can't do it but with these uh, commands or with these changes to your INI files, this will allow you to do so. So I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get right into the nitty gritty of things. Okay, so when you open up Steam, and I do have some things blurred out, blurred out just for privacy reasons, uh, but they're not that important. You're going to want to go to the side panel where you'll see all the games that you have downloaded. You're going to want to find Ark Survival Ascended, right click on that, go to manage, go to browse local files, click that, and up here is your local files for Ark Survival Ascended specifically. So you don't have to find Steam, Steam apps, go to common, all that, you don't have to do that. You can just jump right into this. And again, I have some things blurred for privacy reasons. So now you're going to go into Shooter Game, uh, Saved, Config, Windows, Game User Settings, and that's going to open up this. Now this is your Game User Settings. And as you can see, it's a lot. This is how you change specific things in the game that you can't change on the main menu when you're setting things up in the main menu. So there are some things, some codes that you're going to want to add. So first, you need to find the part of the game user settings that says server settings. Because even if you're playing on single player, it's still considered a server. Uh, so you're going to want to scroll down to the very end of this, hit space, and then enter these commands. These three commands. The first one, disable cryopod enemy check true. Dis or disable cryopod enemy check equals true. And I'm gonna have these commands in my description box so you can copy and paste them from there but if they do not look identical to what is typed in right here uh you're not going to be able to do it it's not gonna work character for character number for number sign symbol to symbol it has to look identical to this otherwise it won't work so if true is not capitalized, if the T in true is in lowercase, it's not going to work. It has to be capitalized. So the enemy check will allow you to use cryopods when you're close to enemies. The cryo fridge on saddle will allow you to build cryo fridge on disable or uh, build cryo fridges on the back of a saddle and disable cryopod fridge requirement that will uh, eliminate the cryo fridge range requirement so you can start using cryopods outside of the range if you use 
So if you're going caving on Scorched Earth, let's say. Uh, what cave is it that you really want a Thylacolio? Uh, it's the cave with the artifact of the Destroyer, I believe. The entrance is in the high desert. And there's that drop to certain death that a Sabretooth might be able to make, but a Thylacolio uh, guaranteed can make. Uh, so if you're concerned about Sabretooth and you want to use a Thyla, a Thyla can make it across. So now you can cryopod your Thyla to get it in that cave because the cave entrance is kind of wonky. So a Thyla won't be able to fit inside because the cave entrance, um, it it's inside a ruin and... Or no, I'm thinking of the wrong cave. Uh, Gatekeeper uh, is one where Thyla won't be able to fit in through the entrance. Um, but again, the Destroyer, that is another one where you're going to probably want a Thyla. Because a Thyla, well, it's it can make the jump. Or as Gatekeeper, you have to, you can't fit a Thyla past the entrance. You have to go Sabretooth or Direwolf. Um, so... That is the last one. The second one, the saddle, that's if you want to put a Crow Fridge on a Quet saddle or a Bronto saddle. And again, the first one, enemy check, so you can use cryopods around enemies. Um, and I believe that is pretty much it for the cryopods. Uh, the rest of this stuff, I'm not going to cover it because we'll be talking all day. We'll actually be talking all day today, all day tomorrow, all weekend. Yeah, it's a lot to go over. So, that is just about it. So, I that that's it for the cryopods. Uh, that's all I'm covering in this video. Uh, hopefully, it works for you. This is for PC. By the way, for console, I'm not console expert. I don't play um, Arc on console, so I can't really help out. So if you're a console player, sorry, but I can't really help you out. Um, you know, because I don't play Arc on console. I, I don't have the patience for typing in letter for letter, word for word. I, I just don't have that patience. But if this video helped you out, uh, smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And again, I will put these three uh, entrance codes in the description below. So if you're looking for those, check the, the uh, if I could talk today, check the description below. And have a good day.